Hey everyone, this is Travis with Diesel Laptops. Today we're using the Kajali Jile Test Unit here on a Kubota skid steer with a Kubota engine. I'm going to navigate my way through the software, get us connected. We're going to choose this stationary engine option here. And we're going to look for our manufacturer, which is Kubota on the left hand side. Okay, and we'll click Kubota Engines one more time here. And the next one I want to do is go ahead and click Connect. Right. It's going to take just a second and it prompts us here, does this have a DPF or does it not? This particular one does have a DPF, we're going to confirm that. And as you can see, really quick to connect. Read fault codes, most importantly, we want to go in here. This particular machine has no check engine lights, so there's no fault codes here. But if it did, you'd see active, inactive stored whatever the case may be with your fault code and it's going to give you you know your numbers there that way you can plug in and look them up um, one thing you get whenever you purchase through diesel laptops is dtc solutions off highway and i'm going through this right now i'm just going to pick a code at random let you see here it's going to give you some conditions of what calls the code to set you know and some possible repairs and these we can go down the list and pick any of these they're going to be set up the same way all right We'll just confirm get back out of our fault codes here since there are none. We'll take a look at ECU data. It's just going to give us a little bit of information on the engine, as you can see there, V3307. And then our parameters tab. We can code the injectors in here. I'm going to the display side of it right now so you can see the injector codes. Okay, and that's currently what's in there. So we'll back out. I want to go into monitoring. This is your live data. It's going to be your live values off the engine right now. All right. And there's 68 of them. So we can come in here, we can decipher it out if we're going to look at 10 or 12 of them. But for the video, I'm just going to scroll through real quick, let you see some of the parameters here. All right. Then we get back all the way down here to the end. Check mark here. Back out. And under actuate components, this is where you start getting into the good stuff. These are some of your tests you can run. I'm going to go into the system check next. This is going to be our cutout. I do want to go ahead and run this test for you on the video. Check mark. Okay. And it's going to have a prerequisite there, of course, the engine's running. And then we pick our cylinder. Cylinder 1. Okay. Down at the bottom, this is where you can cut it off or on. I'm just going to cut it out and right back on. And we'll check mark. And we'll do one more cylinder here for you. We'll do cylinder 4. Check mark. And we'll cut this one off right back on. All right, check mark again. Okay. And back out one more time. Okay, and then this maintenance tab. This is where you're going to get into your DPF commands here. You're able to reset your soot loads, and then of course we can get up here and force your regen too, which we'll go ahead and do for you on the video. Okay, it's going to ask for an expert code. I'm going to go ahead and enter mine in now, and then we can go ahead with this command. It's kind of a neat thing to have there it'll keep you know maybe some of your less experienced techs from going in there and running certain commands you don't want them doing but here we go we've got our prerequisite here the engine is running all right and we'll begin to hear the rpms rise here in just a second okay i'm not going to sit here for the whole regen we'll go ahead and cancel that out but uh overall it looks like pretty good coverage thanks for watching